Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a gel polish design. Um, we are going to make a marble effect, but I didn't want it as, I don't know, I don't want a bright marble. Basically, some people don't like really bright colours. Some people can't have really bright colours for their work. Um, they need more nudes and... Um, Brown and, and nudes, they're not they're not used often enough in my opinion. I I think they're beautiful colours and they really are just, just lovely on their own. You don't need a lot with them. Um But I wanted a set that incorporated a little bit of something, a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of crystal, but it wasn't too much because we're using the nude colors now if i'd done this in like a bright pink or you know neon colors or you know purples even that it would look really obvious it would be really in your face and that's not a bad thing that's beautiful we all love it but not it sometimes it's not appropriate sometimes you want something that's a little bit more subtle that's a little bit more i want to say classy but that's not that's not the word i mean because I'm not doing a very good job of explaining myself, but do, do you know what? Hopefully, you know what I mean. I, I want to be able to give people who don't want those flashy colours something that was a little bit different, that still incorporated all those things we love marbles and a bit of sparkle and a bit of bling, but subtly. Well, it's not subtle. It's not, it's not that subtle, let's face it. You know? it's, but you. You get what I mean. Well, I hope to God you get what I mean. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, my um. So uh, today, my um. Nightmare before Christmas slash corpse bride, uh, video just launched, and I love it when the comments suddenly come in and go, "It's not corpse bride, Shona. It's Nightmare Before Christmas." And I'm going, "Yes, it is. I knew that. Absolutely, I knew that." I don't know why I didn't say it. They're both good films, though, let's face it. Um, <laughs> but I love it, the fact that it shows who actually listens to my voiceovers. Um, to go, no, no, you've, you've, you've got that wrong. And please do tell me, because I like it. It properly made me giggle this morning. You know, full on face plant, just going, oh my God, Shona. What are you like? What are you like? Yeah. <laughs> I've had a lot of videos, um, you know, the people that I like to watch, they either just put music on or they um, they just don't voice over at all. And I'm thinking, but for me, I mean, I love designs and I love watching nail designs, but I like the commentary as well, especially, you know, if it's not going quite right or, you know, there's some people I watch, their technique is a little bit hinky, but they're funny and I like watching them because it brightens up my day and it's a fun um yeah they're just fun to watch um and I mean I love I love the comments and I have got this lovely lady called Kathy who ha is one of my longest subscribers and she comments on every single video and they are just beautiful comments she makes you know just just <sighs> cannot express how happy it makes me because the first thing I, I wake up to when I um when I've launched a video because they launch at one o'clock in the morning so amazing enough I am not awake at that point um but I wake up and the first thing I've got is this really positive lovely comment um and it's it's it really is so appreciated because it really does spur me along. Because let's face it, the last 12 months has been pretty, <laughs> it's been over 12 months. Um, but I've still pumped out the content. I've still done the videos, even when I don't want to. And it's it's just lovely to have the support that I have. Um, so a huge thank you to Kathy and a huge thank you to, to all the others that, that pop your little comments on there. And they just make me chuckle and they make me smile. 
and they help uplift and motivate me because it, it really does help. Um, so I've waffled completely on this video and not explained what on earth I'm doing. Uh, I have got a, the nude polish is um, a fairy glow. It's from the nude collection. There's 24 polishes. You can get them from eBay, Amazon. They're not expensive at all. Um, then I've just got a, a bog standard white polish. Um, and all I've done is I've taken three colours. No, actually, it's not the fairy glow. I am lying completely. These are a collection I got from Amazon. I will try and find them and I'll link them in the description. But it had like um, two nude polishes, two kind of um, deep red uh, burgundy colours. with a, There was a pink as well, I think, and a couple of glitter ones. And all I've done, I've just put them on a palette, three drops, um, so the white and the two browns, and I've just swirled them. Now, normally when you swirl a marble, you don't swirl it too much, but with this, I swirled it more. So it looks like a wood effect. That's what, I, I showed it to my friends, I was like, what do you think of these? I was like, it looks like wood, but in a good way. I was like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I can go with that. Um... So I've just done it on half the nail and the other nails will just stay the, the dark nude colour. So I'm coming in with, this is a velvet matte coat. This is um, a Bilan one. So again, you know, really cheap. You don't have to use really expensive stuff. Um, I mean, there is a difference when you're using like um, some of the shiny top coats. I do find some of them are more hard wearing than others and i've said this i think about the elite 99 ones um they're great for my practice hand but not so much for everything else like not not for myself they're just not hard wearing enough um anywho so that's, <laughs> that's those done and now i'm gonna play with crap on a roll <laughs> Yeah, I, I tell you what, I'm excelling myself with Crap on a Roll lately. Um, for those who are new to my channel, Crap on a Roll is what I call striping tape that comes on the roll, which is never sticky. It sticks to everything but the nail, generally. Um, and that's part of the reason why I've used that particular matte top coat. It doesn't have, it doesn't have an overly tacky layer on it, but it's got a little bit of a tacky layer. And I find that just helps it stick a bit better um i also quite like the i'm trying to think have i done that on or did i go shiny no like that's definitely not matte that is it was a while ago when i recorded this <gasps> and i now can't remember i think i've used base coat why would I have used base coat? That makes no sense. Maybe I just haven't top coated those ones yet. Uh, possibly. Ah, uh, yes. I went to top coat it and then I was like, Shona, why the hell are you top coating this? You haven't put the striping tape on, you numpty. Put your striping tape on first and then. Then you top coat it because you need to top coat your striping tape. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, that's what I did. See, I completely threw myself out there because I was like, why Why am I bringing in top coat at this point? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it this striping tape, it just came from eBay. Um, And it's, it's a glittery one. And I know you're going, why are you going to put matte top coat over the top? Because I didn't want it too glittery. Right, the whole point of this is subtle. Mm. Now, I could have matte top coated it all and then just gone along with some shiny top coat over the top of the striping tape if I wanted to keep that nice and blingy. I, don't know, I do like matte, and I know you know matte isn't everybody's favourite cup of tea but i do like matte and i do like nudes matte as well here we go now i'm going to top coat over the top of those um 
I also like matte when I am, say, going to put some watercolour design on or I'm going to do some one stroke or because it, it's just got a little bit of a better texture. Um, but if you're doing, say, acrylic flowers, then you do it over a shiny top coat. I know, I, I don't understand quite why, but you, you do. It just works better. Yeah, I know. Who knows? Anywho, so we're going to top coat all of those um, so you can start to see this, the effect that we're going for here. And then we're going to add in some crystals. Just because, again, I wanted something. I wasn't, I was, yeah, I wanted a bit more. So I am using, I'm just going to put some chi gel on the top of the striping tape. And again, because it's matte, it sticks fine. Not a problem whatsoever. You do need to make sure you clean it round because obviously chi gel is shiny and you don't want any of the shiny on that. These crystals I got from eBay, in actual fact. They are hotfix ones and you can tell by the backing. You see that... that um, it's got like a, a grey backing to them. So it's, it's not a shiny silver backing. But they were really, really nice. I've had them for years. Um, but you know what? They're not bad at all. They really are not bad. I am not a crystal snob either. Um, so I don't care if, if they came from eBay or... So long as they're nice and shiny and they look beautiful, I'm I'm happy with that. You know, I don't have to have a Swarovski brand. Um, and we all know what I think of Swarovski at the moment. So we're just going to move on past that point. Um, the caviar beads I am using, I believe I got them from Smiley's Glitter Store. And they're like a champagne. But again, they are, they're a matte. They're not shiny, they are a matte. Um... Now, what I do with my caviar beads, so I've just, I'm going to put some into the top coat. And I'm using matte top coat as well, because, you know, everything else is matte, so why not? Um, because it also then doesn't matter if I get it all over the, the nail as well, because it's all matte. Whereas if I'd use shiny, that would be a problem. Now, with caviar beads, you must make sure that they are covered in top coat, because they don't, you know, they're, they're not hard wearing. They will perish if they're not properly covered. So it's very important with your um, caviar beads to do that. Hmm, yeah, I'm just going to pop those on. Bit of a waffly video. I like to space out when I do my voiceovers because I find if I just do like voiceover after voiceover after voiceover, it gets a little bit boring. Um so yeah, I, I like to I like to space them out because at least then hopefully I'm I'm excited and it's more enjoyable for everybody else because like I said, if you like me and you like actually listening to people talk, um, <laughs> then we don't want this kind of voice and we go well we're putting caviar beads in there and then we're going to cure them in the lamp. <laughs> friends who does videos and I'm like you give the information yes lots of information but could you could you put some personality in there as well <laughs> because it's just it's just monotone um in fact I keep teasing him that I should do the voiceovers for his video and he should try doing the voiceovers for mine um I know nothing about his content and he knows nothing about my content but it would be quite hilarious just to give it a go <laughs> do that actually just for a bit of fun but I don't want my face in my videos because no nobody needs to see that <laughs> nobody needs to, oh that's a really big thing at the moment but I'm like no no it, it would ruin the image you already have of me we'll just just leave it as it is there we go gonna pop those caviar beads in and I'm just gonna cure them in the lamp and as you can see I did one side cure it then do the other side why because if you do them all at the same time I find that they tend to slide off whereas I use gravity to my advantage um, and keep the nail angled um, 
so that they stick in there. And then I'm just going to add a few more just at the top and at the bottom. And I think we're pretty much at the end of this video. And then I'll just show you the final uh, results at the end. So there you go. That's today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you like my waffling. Um, more waffling will come in the rest of my videos, as they always do. <laughs> um, I really do appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you in the next one.